Face of Sunny Day. God, he never shuts up. Oh, oh, this is bad. Rip. Uh, he's probably going to. Hmm, he's probably going to potion scum. And then hit me with a fire type attack. I kind of want to just hit him with something. Just, yeah, there's this potion. Chip damage. That's more than chip damage, actually. And then dig again. Yeah, that's fine. You don't actually get to hit me. I'm okay with Sanaconda going down to recoil. He's gonna keep. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, dang it! I was gonna. I was gonna say it was gonna be funny if it didn't work again. Does he not get to retaliate if he faints? Even better. And now his G Max. Yeah, the steel. We've been saving our G Max starter. I'm the great Rihan. I'm a wacky kind of Rihan. Dynamax. Don't waste it. Yoink. Also, is there a way to customize your Pokeball throw in this game? Given as much uh, emphasis Hop places on the ability to customize his throw, seems like a weird thing that they would not have carried over from Sun and Moon if they didn't. Weird. Selfie time. It's a tall boy. Meh. Whatever. Get annihilated. Wow, I survived. Genuinely impressive. It's not stabbed to you, so I don't think that's going to do it. Yeah. Cool effect, though. It's kind of weird. With all of the, G the Dynamax and Axe moves applying field effects, you kind of want to go second so that your effect is on the field. Which, once again, makes the speed stat utterly irrelevant. Honestly, no challenge whatsoever, yet, the entire time. No wonder Leon is the unbeatable champion. He has no competition. Losing in the finals is pretty tough. Um, yeah. Uh, the Atlanta Braves fans would like to have it with you. Blew a 3-1 lead. I've become much stronger. Yay, whatever. Not with someone younger and better looking. Isn't that the saying? Prove Leon's not unbeatable. Oh, cool. They throw in your actual challenger number. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 
why do you have that guy just walking around beside you? Beat the unbeatable. Okay, you're not asking much, are you? I mean, that's like asking somebody to uh, <laughs> outperform Roy Ruin, Mario Maker. Just, yeah, thanks. Appreciate the vote of confidence. Who do we want up front for Leon? Oh, right, yeah, never mind. Doesn't matter. He looks excited. See, one of us lose after all. That's a fair point. I mean, technically, it doesn't matter which side you're rooting for, you're also rooting against the other one. Sometimes there, there are sports matchups where I genuinely root for a good match over any particular one winning. So that is a thing. Why, hello there. I just had to insert myself into your match and make it very clear that none of you mean anything. Leon is actually impossible to beat. Yes. As far as champions go, Leon's not that hard to beat in his own game. I don't think anything will uh, rival how hard Cynthia was to beat in Diamond and Pearl originally. Granted, that game had terrible balancing issues. Like, the best way to beat Cynthia was literally just to use the same Pokemon she had. Where did we even hear that? Oh god, reiterate the entire story, why don't you? That was a bit frustrating. I hate when TV shows and such rely on stuff like that. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Also, hi, Sinian. Any news at all? Yep, yep, okay. No, no. I'm good, thanks. Uh, the I believe the joke you're trying to remember was uh, Dr. Duck uh, throwing IJS as uh, down a cliff as Mufasa and Scar because <laughs> he was playing Lion King. This should tell you exactly uh, how little I care about the actual plot of this game. That's the greatest failing of this game is the plot is. Completely forgettable. No one cares. 
I think because there's no real evil team in this game. Like, even Team Skull, at least, was something. Team Yell is literally nothing. And Chairman Rose is the worst Pokemon villain ever. I I do understand people saying that these, uh, these games are the worst Pokemon games. I, I can definitely understand where they're coming from. They certainly aren't the best Pokemon games, that's for sure. Oh, stop it, stop it. Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to get in a battle with level 3 Pokemon! It's just so stupid. Sit in. Yeah. Run away. I'd rather play Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, you can almost play this one uh, when you're asleep. It does sort of play itself. Long, unnecessarily long path. Uh, ooh. Sharna. Is this why they call it the slumbering wheel? Weird willed? However you pronounce it. Uh, well, we found evolved Pokemon finally. Uh, you know, just, just, just run away. There's, I don't need the XP. There's no point in battling any of these. It'd be cool to catch some, I guess, but we're here for story, not catching. I'll go on a catching spree sometime in the future. Hello. Is there anything down here? Oh, dang it. Nobody cares, or Beetle. That's a cool one. I use that, uh, I used that in my original one. Shield run. Uh, speaking of run, run away. I want to step on the uh, stun fist. For a smoke ball, really? Hmm. Oh, go. Oh, hop. Oh, my, my work does have a habit of calling me in on my days off. And they're like, but we'll pay you. Yeah, of course you're going to pay me. Don't act like, you know, following the law is something that should be... <laughs> Okay. Whatever. Didn't we literally tell her what we were doing? You sure you haven't lost the plot? Here, let me reiterate the entire plot one more time. We're in somewhere beyond the wield a long time ago. Okay. I don't know. My 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 bosses act like uh, uh, overtime is something that is awesome and that I should be like on the ground licking their boots to try and get more overtime. I don't think they understand. Eight hours of overtime for me is an extra twenty dollars on my paycheck. It is not worth it. They tax overtime like crazy. Sort of. Like, I understand the gimmick behind having two different versions of Pokemon. Uh, it, it's, it's called Money Hungry. But they really could have just made this a story choice at this point. Like, do you pick up the sword or do you pick up the shield? And that changes your post game. That's how a 
good game would handle it. Oh yeah, yeah, then they lose out on people who buy both versions. You can't fly out of here. I think there's a mandatory cutscene right here. Oh, I guess maybe you do. Uh, where am I going? Camera lock. Can't call the flying taxi where you are now. Great. How about... Can you use the escape rope? I always forget this thing exists in this game. Here we go. <laughs> really hopping to quitting and give me all this Pokemon. Yeah, you know, real world problems right there. Energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving the future. He's a bit mad. Yeah, that's because the story has gone completely in a bizarre direction. I mean, Chairman Rose's character literally makes no sense. Of course I am. We have to fight her one more time. That is not how somebody paces. You don't take one step forward, stop, turn around, and take one. That doesn't work. Especially if you have this massive long hallway. But the Dynamax, for some reason, starts running amok. Good word, amok. I mean, Mr. Rhyon. <laughs> this would have been an excellent way to introduce the post game uh they could have done something similar to sword and shield and had you chasing across the world for rogue dynamaxed pokemon that would have been the equivalent of uh the ultra beast just saying you could have done the end game a lot better pokemon hire me have ideas uh, what's over here? <laughs> Now's my time to be using this. Go see the story mode. <laughs> who do I want up front? I forget who he leads with. Eh, toxicity is fine as a lead, I guess. Whatever. I don't think it matters much. Want to start a quest? already brought it about. The ultimate Pokemon, Eternatus. Must provide Galar with limitless energy. My duty, my purpose, destiny. I let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Okay. Uh, 